Hello everyone. Welcome to the amazing, amazing, amazing Acceleration Business Summit 2020. I am so privileged and so honored and humbled to be invited to be one of the amazing speakers. We have an amazing lineup of speakers for this program. So if you haven't signed up yet or you know someone who needs to be here, please go on ahead and share the link with them and let them come on in. All right? Okay. Thank you. If you're watching the replay, please hashtag replay, okay? <laughs> Thank you to our visionary leader for putting this amazing program together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Patience Hemingway. I'm based in the United States and I'm the Master Serenity Coach. She calls me Serenity Mama. <laughs> thank you for that name. Um, Yes, so I'm here to share with us how to overcome anxiety as a business owner. So if you're catching the replay, as I mentioned earlier, please hashtag replay. If you're catching the live, I want to ask you a question. What is your business about? Are you a service-based business owner or a product-based business owner? I would like to know in chat. Put it in the bottom because someone might need what you, what you have, okay? The next thing I want to ask is a true or false question. True or false, does the health of the business owner affect the height at which a business goes? True or false? Does the health of a business owner determine how the business will go? Is it yes or is it no? Hey, Marion. Good morning. Thank you for hopping on. Thank you for joining. So as a business owner, starting up an entrepreneur, it is true. The height of your business starts with you. You are the visionary. You are the one driving the seat, telling your team what to do. So if your health is not in place, then it would affect your work. And everybody says it's true. Opeyemi said it's true. Marion said it's true. So, and I'm sure those of you who are catching the replay, you go like, yes, yes, yes. So please leave that in chat. I'll come back and check it. So what are some of the things that you have experienced as a business owner Leah, when it comes to anxiety as a business owner. Anxiety is a fancy word for worry, okay? Worry. As a business owner, what are you worried about? What are your concerns? Please type some of them in chat. It might not be you, but someone you know, okay? Let's just watch from afar. What have you seen? People. What are some of their concerns? Please, let's have, let's, let this be a conversation, okay? It's a summit. All right, not eating right, exactly. Because why? You are very busy. The moment you woke up, you have appointments, you have to go here, go there, go there, do everything for everybody. So you are not eating right. You are not taking care of, you are not exercising. No exercises. As soon as you wake up, you go like, oh, they need a hundred orders. Bum, 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 bum. You send it to them. There you go. Yes. Not eating right not exercising. So what are you doing to this body? What else is happening in this present society that we are in that will cause um, someone to worry? I know some, some business owners, they have to travel, okay, to other countries and other continents to go get their goods. So with all this pandemic going on, it is a worry for them. It is causing them anxiety. It's causing them stress. They are unable to travel because of the ban and all the restrictions. Would that be a worry for every business? Oh, yes. It is a worry. What is another type of worry? Small businesses in my neighborhood, they close down because people are not coming out anymore. So there is a lot of worry from the personal to the financial to getting your supply so you can provide for your demand. It's all a, a lot of worry that is going on. So as a business owner, yes, a lot of things are happening to you. 
and it was affecting the way you are running your business. Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Successful People. There was a book that he wrote. He mentioned in there that there are three circles that we need to concern ourselves with. Okay? The first one is the circle of concern. The weather, the time, what is happening everywhere. You are concerned about it. There is the circle of influence. Circle of influence. Like, who do I know? What resources do I have? What skill sets do I have to help me to navigate this business that I'm in? And then the last circle is the circle of control. In this business that I'm in, what can I control? The first thing you can control is what you focus on. As a business owner, are you focusing on the news? Are you focusing on everything else apart from your goal? Your interpretation of things that are happening. What are you interpreting this year as? Are you seeing it as a problem or you are seeing it as an opportunity to be a solution to people? The third thing he advises us to focus on is our next steps. First, you have defined, clearly defined your goals. The circle of concern that you don't have to worry about. So when you wake up in the morning, right, you have... Um, 100% energy deposited into your account for the day. Remember we said you as the business owner, your health determines how far you go. So when you wake up in a day, you are blessed with 100% energy. 20% you should be keeping in the circle of concern. What the weather is shouldn't affect your business. What is happening with whatever shouldn't affect your business it's a concern yes but do not let that suck you in we are advised to spend 80 percent of our energy so that is 20 let your 20 percent be all the other things that doesn't directly impact you it is happening yes fine thank you but do not let it take you off 80 percent of your energy should be inside your circle of influence who can who can i call who can i depend on who in my circle can I call on to help me with this project? What resources do I have to handle this project? Um, what skills? What do I have? Yes. Okay. That place you put your energy. And then your next energy. So 80% in the circle of influence and 20% in the circle of control. What are you focusing on today for this business? What am I focusing on? How am I interpreting this? Is everything a problem or everything is an opportunity to provide a solution? How flexible are you? And what is your next step? Once you've seen that this is a problem and I can solve it, next step. How are you going to solve this problem? Okay? Now, let us come to focus. Focusing on you first, okay? Focusing on you first. You are the leader. You are the, the driver, in the company, in the business. Take care of yourself first. Wake up early or before your first appointment. Wake up early or than your first. Don't wake up because someone you have an appointment on the phone with somebody. What if the person disappoints you? You messed up your day. So wake up before your appointment. Sit with yourself. Grab a journal, okay? Grab a journal. This is the journal that I wrote and I have it online on Amazon. What I do in here is it asks you different questions. Let me let me open this important part. You will have important questions in that, that you have to answer for yourself. It's like, what do you visualize for your business today? Good. Meditate. Yes. Meditate. Exactly, Marion. You want to wake up earlier so that you set the tone even for the meeting that you are going to have. If you wake up at 5 and you have a meeting at 9 a.m., yes, wake up before the day. All right? Command your day. You have to wake up and command the day. So you will wake up and visualize, envision your day. Go like this meeting. This is what 
my intention for the meeting so that the person doesn't decide the meeting for you. Doesn't make sense. If you are understanding what I'm saying, put yes, I agree. Yes, put yes in the comment for me. Before you go to the meeting, call on your higher power to go ahead of you into that meeting and set the atmosphere. Right? Calibrate the atmosphere. Speak what you want to happen. Ask for what you want. This might sound crazy, but it is true. This is what you need to do. So if it's like a conf if you are physically going into a conference room, right? You want to in the morning when you wake up send your spirit, your soul into the conference room already. See yourself sitting at that conference table, sitting with that person that you're going to meet. This is visualization I'm sharing with you right now. You want to already visualize and see you yourself at the conference, having that contract signed and agreed already. In fact, you can grab your pen, your special pen that you use. I'm trying to look for my special pen. Calibrate the atmosphere because you are powerful. Go into that conference place. If it is China, you are going to, to buy your product. See the borders already open. See you in the airplane. See you arriving. See you getting your, your, your products your services, your ideal clients. You have to use all your five senses when you're visualizing. You have to see, you have to feel. If it is money, guys, grab it, touch it. Hey, more welcome. You have to touch it, okay? Hear, hear you and the person talking saying, congratulations, I've been waiting for this product all my life. This is going to save all those people. This service you provided is saving the whole world. Hear it, see it, feel it. All right, you need to. Guys, it's about time we have to dream bigger. As a business owner, right? The only limit is you. The only limit is you take it off of yourself. The anxiety and the worry, it is. it will come because you are human. But use that power of rising up early to pre-program the day. Speak into your day. Command the business. Say, me, I'm the business owner of X or Y, Z. I am the number one business owner in the whole world. The product that I sell. Thousand people sell the same bread, but my bread is the best bread ever. My bread is filled with so much power when you eat it. All the micronutrients that you've never had before, they are coming in here. See it, feel it. First, you have to decide how much do you want to sell today? Calculate it. So it is not just visualizing, but remember I said the thing is the next step. So first you focus, which is the visualization. Focus, focus. Focus with your physical eyes, your spiritual eyes, your whole body, soul, and spirit. Visualize it. Take time to calm down and breathe. Breathe properly. Because the good thing about breathing is that you don't need to go find it. It is right there with you as you woke up early, right? If you woke up, it means you got the breath of life to be productive already. So in that moment that you are breathing, take your time and be conscious of it. Because I don't think if you are counting money, you will count the money so fast. Sometimes I count money three times to make sure that it's right. Even when the ATM give it to me, I count it again. I don't trust the ATM. <laughs> Has anybody taken money out of an ATM and counted it like three times again? I'm like, uh, let me check. Mm. I turn it over. I count it again. So... If you are doing that to physical things, how much your breath? Pay attention. Pause. Oh, Marion always counts the money again. <laughs> I thought I was the only one. Take your time. Slow down. Slow down, sister. Slow down, business owner. Slow down. And slow down your heart rate. When you are having anxiety as a business owner, you will not be thinking clearly. To even make the best. Because your heart is pumping. You are in a rush. Just to sign the paper and give it to you. Calm down. It is not about you. It is the divine timing. When it is your time, sister, business owner, that deal will not pass you by. That contract, 
nobody will be able to take it because they will try, but it will not work. It is waiting for you. Okay? So take your time. Breathe. Practice deep breathing. In the same journal, I have um, breathing techniques in there. It says when I breathe, I heal. Okay? So you can take your time and learn how to breathe. Take your time. Breathe for the day. Okay? It says when I breathe, I heal. Okay? So you want to take your time and focus on the breath work that you are doing to calm you down and connect your body, soul, and spirit to help you focus on the goal. Because sometimes you can say you want $100,000 by the end of this week, but your mind and your spirit are not corresponding because you haven't brought all of them to the conference table to have a conversation with them. Does that make sense? Yes. No one is going to take it from me. No, no, nobody will take it from you. So anxiety comes when your body is here, your soul is there, and your spirit is there. Bring all of them together. In the center. All right? Breathe. When you are done breathing, right, your mind opens because you have opened this part of your inside. Yes, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland inside you. Guys, there is so much inside. You are bigger than that little business. Your business is wide, but you have to start. If you cannot conceive it, right, you cannot produce it. Like a camera, what you capture is what you get. So you have to, first of all, believe it from here. Soul, mind, body, agree. Then it will manifest. It will come to you. Yes, alignment. Align, align 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 what you are hearing what you seeing, what you speaking they cannot be like that gotta be straight gotta be straight all right good so you want to spend that time when you are done please grab your the next step will be to grab your calendar how many of you keep a calendar because sometimes you have a lot going on. Someone is calling you here. Someone needs you. Someone needs you here. You have to have a timetable. A schedule. One. Because remember, as a business owner, you might be the mom. You might be the dad. You might be the, the driver, the cook. You, you are everything. And yet you are running a business. So find one calendar, right? This is what is helping me. That's why I'm sharing it. Okay? Find a calendar and in the calendar, make sure your day is divided properly in there. All this helps calm down the worrying. Worrying is when you are anticipating something that hasn't even happened yet. Okay? Worrying is always running ahead into the future. Be present. Focusing on the breath again. I am strong. I got this. I am the most important person they're waiting for that contract to be signed. I'm the most important product they are waiting for. You are. Okay? So arrange your calendar in such a way that your breakfast is on the calendar. Your break time is on the calendar. Your exercise is on the calendar. Your bathroom time is on the calendar. These are little things that people don't put on the calendar. They only put, oh, I have an appointment. On the calendar no there are lots of things that happen before the cal the call itself right i did this when i was in the university when when it was time for, to to study we put our break time on the calendar because when we study we need to t get up and go jump around and come back and do because you have to focus but all work and no play makes jack a doll ball you know you want to be you mix play and learn or play and, and business. You cannot be business, business, business. Your, your mind will shut down. Jumping is another way to let worry go away. Just jump. Jump for joy. Jump for joy. Jump for joy. Take a break from what you're doing. But you have to schedule this. If you do not put play time on your calendar, you will feel exhausted and burnt out. And you will not even enjoy what you're doing. 
I would like to buy products from somebody who is so happy, so joyful. Your fit, you are the first product the person sees before they give you their cash. They want to see a happy business owner. Oh, I want to go to this lady. It's not because her bread is better than everybody's bread, but because she's pleasant. She is so nice. She has taken care of herself. Has that happened to you before you go to the market to buy something? There are a lot of them, but you chose one particular one to go to. It's because of something that you have seen. Right? So you want to take care of that. Yes, the energy that the person is giving out. And you cannot give out something you don't have. So start early in the morning. Start with what you have. Take breaks. A lot of breaks. A lot of break. You can work eight hours continuously and do only little thing. Or you can have time to play and then come back and hit the target like that. Boom. Which one do you prefer? Sit there eight hours, pretending that you, you are working and not really working because your mind is all over the place. Or focus, know your time. If you do not put breaks on your calendar, you may end up exhausted. Yes, taking breaks are very important. Business people get too businessy and get too serious. And then three months into the business, they are like, I'm tired. This is burning me out. I'm overwhelmed. I cannot do this anymore. What? Take it away. Then they stop the business, start another one. They start another one, the same cycle. They give up. So you have to realize that it's not the business that is bad. It is not the business that is bad. You see all this for when you point in the business is bad. The business is bad. Well, the business is not bad. The business is not bad. Yep. The business is not bad. The, the four fingers are telling you, this business is not bad. It's not good at all. No, it is this person. Okay? You have to come back. Accelerate your business by going back to yourself. Take time for you. Give yourself the grace and the patience. Once you are calm, right, your body, soul, and spirit will align. Open up your prefrontal cortex where your reasoning and logic and divine inspiration and ideas that nobody has come up with before because your spirit is open there is an open portal that comes to you zoom oh i need to just do this add this to 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 the product and it will be done you'll be surprised all right so i hope these little nuggets are going to help you to accelerate your business number one Rise up earlier than your regular time. Okay? Take time for you. If you take time for you, you would have an accelerated business for that day. Visualize. Be happy. Write, write big dreams. Like today, what do I want? I want to make sure that I want... No, you don't even want to make sure. You tell. You speak it already. The four fingers are actually pointing at you. Yes, they are like, uh-uh. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch your God is an amazing God. When he like, oh, you pointing and accusing somebody? What about you? What about you? What about you? <laughs> so you want to be able to make sure that. Thank you so much. You want to visualize, speak it. I see myself on the at, at this conference table. I see myself getting the contract. And feel how you feel if you really had the contract. You want to be in the place and enjoy it already. You want to be at the place. I have received this contract. I see myself with this contract in my hands. I see myself having that VP client who is making 10,000K per month. I see myself selling this. My products are sold out. My products are sold out. People are on the waiting list. I am employing more people and giving people food on their table. You have to visualize it and see how you feel. See, see the feeling that comes from you. It will melt away the anxiety. You have to see it and capture it. Melt away the anxiety by waking up extra early, visualizing what you want, and be, be visualizing it all the time. Okay, so you don't sway off and start thinking about what is in your circle of concern. Get out of the circle of concern. Come back to the circle of influence. Who do I need to call? Who knows what I don't know? What can I learn? What YouTube video can I study? 
what product is in the market, what is changing. Maybe this product is not working. What should I be focusing on? Acceleration. Acceleration is when your speed is faster than regular, you know? So because someone already knows, you learn from them, you have accelerated, you have moved on already, okay? The next thing is plan your day, your calendar. Make sure that your calendar has play time. Schedule play time. Get up, jump, move your body. Sitting down too much will make you tired. It will lead to all sorts of diseases also. So get up, move yourself, all right? Um, if anybody has any questions as to how to accelerate and overcome anxiety as a business owner, please do not hesitate. Reach out to me. I can help you or you can reach out to anybody else who is great at helping you pinpoint your anxiety. Once the anxiety block is taken off, your business will run ahead of you because you are at peace, you are centered, you are in alignment, your soul, spirit, and body together. And with that package intact, every business will flow out of your belly. Out of your belly will flow rivers of joy, abundance, witty ideas, strategies. They will come when your body, soul, and spirit are in alignment and they are settled, okay? When they are settled, everything will flow from the divine through you, all right? All right. What is the name of my meditation book? I want to get... Oh, okay, so... um. There are two books. It's on Amazon. Okay, this is the the one for the for the guide. Hey, Idala. So this is the workbook, and this is the book that has the breathing techniques. Breathe with me, a guide to finding peace in the storms of life. And then this is the workbook that you would have to do the work, right? You have to ask yourself the questions, like playtime. You can even do some coloring, okay? And then you would you affirm yourself and do the work, okay? What are you grateful for? All right. Yeah, this one says when I breathe. I don't know how to even hold this thing. Yeah. Yeah. You have to use the power of your imagination. Do you see that? Power of your imagination. All right. Power of your imagination. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can get both of them from Amazon, yeah. Yep. They're all on Amazon. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So if anybody has any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Or like I said, there are lots of resources out there. Listen, don't think you are alone and you have to suffer alone. You are not the only business person going through this. Okay. So reach out, see somebody who has already succeeded or is 10 times ahead of you or 20 steps ahead of you and learn from them, follow them, invest yourself in their time. And then you get to see how they're doing it and you will accelerate. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Like I said, my doors are open. If you have any questions on techniques, on how to calm yourself down, how to align your body, soul, and spirit so that everything flows effortlessly in your business with witty ideas, mind open, so heart open, mind open, heart open to do your business, I'm here for you. Have a great, great day. And do not forget, there are other amazing speakers coming behind me. Please, please, please stay tuned and get all you need because the goal of this summit, the Acceleration Business Summit 2020 is to get you to accelerate. We are in Q4. We are accelerating into our greatness and into possibilities. Take care and have a great, great day. Greetings from the United States. Bye-bye.